Okay, so I have already shown you the servers. Here is the bulk of my network hardware, which I have tried to neatly arrange on a wall above my main desktop machine. First I will talk about the mains power supply as seen here. I will mention that I do have some electrical experience and would not recommend that you attempt to create a setup like this unless you know what you are doing. Otherwise you should consult a qualified electrician. The power supply is fed from the main socket ring within the house down to the 16 amp trip switch. It then runs through the power meter so I can keep track of power consumption. From there it runs back up through the UPS shown earlier before running back down into the two individually fused isolation switches. The switch on the left isolates both servers and all hardware in the attic. The switch on the right isolates everything you can see here including my main desktop machine. I have a small switch I can use for testing the UPS. If I switch it off, mains power consumption will drop to zero and everything including the servers in the attic will continue to run unaffected on the UPS. As you can see, everything is still running normally. It is now running on the UPS. On the top left of the board, I have the first of my two access points. It is a standard Linksys wireless G access point. Combined with the second access point in the attic, it provides excellent coverage for my laptop. Below that is the Ethernet over power line 4 port switch which provides network access to a desktop machine at the opposite end of the house. In the middle I have my Netgear DG834 ADSL router which is currently only being used as a 4 port switch. To the right is my Netgear 8 port gigabit switch which is useful for transferring large amounts of media between my main desktop machine and my Windows server. You can also see all of the cabling including several Cat5e cables running to the servers in the attic, my IP camera as well as the data outlets in the trunking at the bottom. I have segregated as much as possible the power and data cables within the trunking. On the shelf to the right you can see my Cisco 837 ADSL router, which is currently in use. I may, replace, I may use this to permanently replace the Netgear. I took some time setting this up using the command line and the console cable. I like it because it allows me to use multiple external IP addresses with NAT. It does synchronize with the telephone exchange at a considerably slower speed than the Netgear which is why I am not sure if I'm going to continue using it. To the right I have two telephones, one for my standard BT line and one voice over IP line provided by Vonage. Below is my main desktop machine which has dual monitors. You can also see the Vonage telephone adapter. I built this computer less than a year ago. It has an AMD Phantom quad core 2.6 gig processor and 4 gig of RAM. It also has two 250 gig serial hard disks. It currently runs Windows XP Professional and is used for all usual day to day work. I would often use my laptop alongside with this machine when working on websites and so on. So that was a brief tour of the main parts of my network. Please feel free to get in touch through my website with any su suggestions or questions.